Hey guys, Everything CNC here. I wanna finish uh, part of the grooving program uh, that now talks about threading. So I started the video to do grooves and threads, but it just got a little long, so I wanted to break it up. Uh, so if you watch the grooving video on the four basic outer types of grooving, you'll notice that I did not finish the threads because I wanted to post it in this one. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. If uh, you recall here, let me program, tool path, part shape, and uh, check continue. So we just have a outside cylinder and we have the four types of uh, grooves uh, that are gonna be most commonly used. Uh, let me uh, clear this uh, uh, tool path erase. And uh, when it finishes, we're gonna go ahead and uh, add this diameter here, which is gonna be a one and a half, let's say 14 thread. Okay, so we'll just give an example of how to do a thread. So this will show you how to edit a previous line to throw this guy in here and then also threading toolpath on an OD. All right, I'm gonna go to program. I'm gonna clear that alarm. Now our bar out is where we need to go. We'll go down one line. You'll see where the cursor is blinking. We'll say program, we'll go over a menu and insert. It's gonna insert a line above it. Okay, we're gonna say it's a line. It has a radius of, or a chamfer of five thousandths. The X is going to be 1.5. That's our major diameter of our imaginary one and a half uh, 14 thread. And our Z we'll say is one inch, okay? So we are going to make a one inch thing there. And just to show you guys the back end of what these do, now that I've talked about them a couple of times, we're going to say a radius of point, uh, uh, 050, okay? And a surface finishing feed rate, I mean, a finishing feed rate of point zero zero three. Now let's go ahead and look at our new program. Tool path, part shape. Now we see here in the corner, if we scale change it, let's go over and let's just say uh, 0.25, oh, 0.25, part shape. And we now have a radius on the back end. So when I ask you for uh, CRC in the front page of the program, like right here, uh, or CNR, I'm sorry, that's asking for the very front of the program. When it asks you back here, that's for the back of the program. It just throws a radius. Uh, so now that we have our major diameter on that cylinder, let's go into program one more time, go over, insert, and now we have our new unit number. We're gonna make a thread. We're gonna do an outside thread. It's gonna be a standard thread. Don't worry about these. We're just gonna make a regular thread. With standard, you could do a taper, a uh, pipe straight, a uh, regular thread, AMC, all that stuff. So standard chamfer don't worry about chamfer actually just don't even put anything in uh, we're gonna make our own chamfer for uh, a re um, for relieving uh, the thread okay our lead a thread lead is the same exact thing as a pitch okay as for this controller um, we're, we're if we're doing a 14 we take 1 divided by 14 that gives us our pitch and it's 0 .07142. 0 .07142. Our angle of thread, don't worry about it. How many passes, how many entrance uh, are we do? We're just gonna do one entrance. It's not a multiple threaded uh, helix or anything like that. Our height of thread, that is saying from the diameter of 1.5, how much in are we gonna go on that diameter? How much material are we gonna cut off that diameter per side of the thread? Okay, what I found is, uh, uh, I'm sure there's a formula for this or whatever, but I was told a long time ago, just take half of the lead and it seems to work just fine for me. Uh, I know on pipe threads you do 0.8 times uh, the lead and that gives you a lot better uh, results for that. But height, we're gonna say 0.07142 uh, divided by two. We're gonna say 0 0.0357, 0 0.035. I'm just gonna do three places, okay? and number cut passes, we'll say 10 passes, okay? So it's gonna take that 35 divided by 10 and that's how much each cut roughly is gonna do. Depending on who set up your parameters or how much you have changed your parameters, the last two passes are gonna be a rough final and then a, a finish final, okay? And it's gonna take off less than uh, it would on all the other passes, but it should be set up just fine. Don't need to worry about it. I highly suggest you don't change them unless you have an extreme issue. Uh, your boss probably wouldn't be too happy if you started switching controls anyways uh, that you didn't know too much about. So uh, you have 35, number passes 10, uh, cutting speed 100 for aluminum brass, all that kind of stuff. 
uh, tool. Mine's gonna be number three input. Our starting point was at 1.5. That was our major diameter. Our Z is gonna be zero. Our final X point is gonna be 1.5. Why? Because we're not doing a taper. We're making a straight thread. And our final point, let's say is 0.750, three quarters of an inch. So we go back, we go program, tool path, part shape. Okay, and there's our thread. Scale change, let's go over, zoom into our thread here. And we'll say 0.5, part shape. And there we go, check continue. So now when you do these threads, the inside and outside are almost identical. There's one little catch. If you're programmed from the inside, you're still gonna program it the exact same way. Only the inside diameter is gonna be your minor you program and the height is actually gonna go into the part. And uh, if that's a little confusing or some of you are having difficulty on it, I can do one, but uh, okay. So there you go. I cut the thread 10 times back and uh, it's finished. It's super simple, guys. I mean, uh, uh, after doing it once or twice, you'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, and then you'll start fiddling around with other things on a thread. Now, say you wanted to do a taper, let's just go and program so you get an idea, because I like to see things twice sometimes, uh, just to have a comparison. Uh, I'm very visual oriented, so we'll go program, and uh, our start point, 1.5, for dramatic taper, it's, I think it's like three quarters of an inch over a foot uh, for a pipe taper, but this is not following that guidelines, okay? So I'm gonna say two inches, okay, is where it finishes. So we'll go program, tool path, part shape, and now you can see that taper. Bam, you just did a taper thread, you're a genius, okay? Uh, we'll go tool path and uh, part shape. We'll check it out again and, um, and uh, oh crap, it uh, froze up on here. So let me see if I can get it, tool path again, part shape, check continue. Okay, there we go. So it's running, it's doing its thing, uh, tool path erase clean it up a little so we can see what's going to actually happen. It's going through all the grooves that we already covered in a previous video. I think that video is like 20 minutes long. I'm sorry guys if I just threw in a bunch of bullshit and uh, it cluttered it up. Hopefully it was useful information for you guys. Uh, okay, now it's going to do a thread. There we go. 10 passes there. And you can adjust that based on the type of material cut. And if your insert's like hogging down and you're breaking tips, you might need to go to either a heavier or a lighter pass. Uh, uh, cuts, you know, more number, lighter passes, less number passes, heavier cuts. And uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, any questions, feel free to let me know. And I uh, will see you guys in another video.